Elizabeth. Who are you? How did you get in? Do exactly as I said. Come on. Unless you want me to go to Frankie's bedroom. Did you understand what I said? Put it down. Now. There you go. Adam. Listening to me? Hear this. You can swallow these, or I can go down the hall and visit your son Frankie. Understand? This easier her. There you go. too hard, was it?
be here, Jeff. Jesus, Kelly, we've been over this ten times already. Yeah, I know, but your theory's holding on by a fucking thread. No wonder Captain Martell ignored your request for a Captain war. Martell is going to be retired to Bikina Colatus in less than a month. I'm not going to bet our future on him. LAPD just want to ask you a few questions. Told you he I'll drop you off first and then I'll take this sweetheart in. Tomorrow's a big day. You need your beauty sleep. Put your head down. You sure you don't want my help? No, I'm good. Thank you, Captain. Hey, don't jinx it. And listen, do me a favor. Liz wants me to get home safe tonight, so uh, I'm gonna drive. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I promise you that there are no bad guys in here, <laughs> okay? What do you think that is? Mommy made you a surprise. She did? Well, if it's a surprise, you're not supposed to tell me about it. Okay, let's take a look at this. I'm so proud. so bright. Hey, let's not tell Mommy told me, all right? I promise. Okay, good. Now, come here. We can get you to bed. Let's go find Mommy. Where's Mommy, hmm? Where'd she go? She
Boulevard. Detective. <clears throat> I guess his new tie didn't fit right. I don't know if I heard you. Say it again. Huh? Just a fucking joke. Hey, to man, you, man, huh? I was just. Hey, Detective Anderson! That's enough! That's enough! Okay. okay. With all due respect, sir. I'm good. I'm good. What's his problem? His wife killed herself three months ago. He's been prowling 1056s ever since. It's 1056? Suicide scenes. Oh, Christ, poor dude. Yeah, well, just take care of the body. Your Highness? Don't call me that. I didn't steal your job. I took the damn job because you threw it down the toilet. Two more men filed reports against you. Oh, yeah? Uh, which two? They call you the suicide guy, Jeff. What do you want me to say? Look, all you've been doing since it happened is skulk around suicide scenes. It doesn't make any sense, and I won't condone it any longer. You've got to get back in the saddle. Let me team you up with a new partner. Sign you to a homicide case. You have a gift, Jeff. Don't waste it. I am working a homicide case. Elizabeth took her own life. No, she didn't. We've been through this a hundred times. She didn't have a single reason to kill herself. You know that. That's not who she was. With all the respect I have for her, her work as an artist was very tormented. We don't know what was going on. No, I know! She was my wife. She was my best friend, so I know. And what about Frankie? Hmm? I mean, what he said that night, the night Mary had a man in his room, do you think he made that shit up? And the two guys that I saw on the way in that night, I asked everybody in the fucking building. Nobody knows who they are. This is shady. It's not shady. It's crazy. Okay.
got me, buddy. Come here. Oh. I heard the shower. I knew it was you. Well, you're always right. Can you come play? <laughs> yeah, let me just talk to Grandma first, okay? And then we can play. Yay! I'll be right back, all right? seen you in a while. At least you took a shower. <sighs> yeah. You're still not going back to that apartment? No, I can't. Well, then sell the damn thing and move on. This is a terrible example for your son. You cannot keep coming back here like this. Look, Frankie, he's a kid, okay? He doesn't notice stuff like this. Oh, he doesn't. That's how little you know about your son. He notices everything. And besides, I notice, Jeff. Oh, you're my mother. And you understand what I'm going through, right? Two months ago, I understood. Now it is just self-destruction. I need one thing from you, Mom. Be there for Frankie. I can't be. Not yet. You won't bring her back by killing yourself. There. I said it. Anderson. Jeff, it's Ke it's Kelly. You gotta get to the hospital. Now. Kelly, what's going on? Get moving. I'll brief you on the way. Jeff Anderson, LAPD. I know you're going through something unimaginable right now. I already uh, told everything to your colleagues. But I need to hear firsthand what happened to you. In your own words. Uh, my boyfriend, Mike, 
had left to go home. I heard the apartment door and I thought maybe it was him. Maybe he forgot something. But then two guys came in. Um, the older one was in his 60s. Older guy handed me a bottle of sleeping pills and yeah, told me to take them as you knew where my mother lived. I did forget something. And then the uh, next thing I remember is waking up in the room. Where's my... Um, this wasn't... So I'm, I'm Jane, so call, call me Jane. No. No, don't say it. Don't, don't say it. They shot him. They didn't uh, make it. Uh, I'm sorry. To say this is no, this is exactly what I've been saying for the last six months. Look, you understand what I have to do, right? I do.
Yeah. Daddy. Frankie, hey. <laughs> hey, buddy, what are you doing? Is Grandma with you? Are we still going to Disneyland? No, buddy, I'm sorry. I, I totally forgot about that. Can we go tomorrow? No, 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 no. Daddy's got a lot of work right now. Are you looking for a bad guy? Two of them, actually. What did they do? They did some bad things. Did they kill Mom? Frankie? Grammy, have the phone. Talk to Daddy for a minute and you just go inside, okay? Good boy. Are you crazy? Talking about this with your son? Mom, hey. Look, I, I, I didn't check my caller ID. He surprised me. Frankie has been looking forward to going to Disneyland with you today for weeks. You promised him, Jeff? Yeah, I know, Mom. Mom, look. I'll make it up to him, I promise. That's not how little boys think. They need a father who they can trust and who they can depend on, not one that makes empty promises. I gotta go, Mom. What have you got? I have a theory. Yeah, you always do. I found 19 prominent women who committed suicide by slashing their wrists in their bathtubs after ingesting sleeping pills, all in the Los Angeles area. And I only went back 10 years. Guys, give me a second. What do you mean by prominent women? I mean doctors, lawyers, artists, politicians, you name it. Now, these women were featured prominently in the news in the weeks preceding their suicides. Are you saying all these women were murdered by our two suspects? Probably not all of them. Okay, which one's them? Well, how the fuck should I know? I mean, there's no crime scene, there's no evidence, nothing. These guys are pros. That's your theory? Two men are simulating women's suicides on a large scale? Prominent women. If your theory is correct, how come no one's ever noticed? Kelly, I noticed, and nobody believed me, but I understand that. There's no apparent motives, there's no clues, these are not even identified as murders. And there are over a thousand suicides a year in this fucking town. So these are perfect crimes? As close as they get. What's their motive? I don't know yet, but they hate women. That's for sure. Look, I need a team, Kelly. There's way too much information to process. I need help. Jeff, I can't do that sort of thing anymore. It's not just you and me in a car in stakeout mode. Okay. Right.
came as soon as I could. Thanks. Come in. What have you been doing? I tried to think like they do. And now I know how they operate. Your theory is accurate. Mm -hmm. What do we do about it? Okay, look, I made a list of the women that I would kill next if I were these men. How did you do all this? I told you. Look at this shit. Are you kidding me? Jeff. For two weeks I've been doing this. Jeff, you are scaring me. Look, it's fine. It's okay. But these women need to be put into protective custody today. Okay, well, you're asking for the impossible. Fuck you. Do you know how much this would cost? Who cares Putting how much Putting a dozen it costs? women under constant police surveillance. Yeah? And for how long? For the attack, Kelly. Jeff, that could be a couple of months. Yeah. If yeah. you're yeah. right. No, I'm fucking right. Look, believe me, I would love nothing more than to protect these women. But this, this represents thousands of man hours. So many other cases would never be solved because of hey, this. Hey, this is your part of the fucking job. I didn't ask Captain, for this job. No, you fucking stole it from me. That's what happened. Let's be real for a second. Okay, Jeff. What am I supposed to tell the commission? That my former partner, who's barely showed up at the precinct since his wife committed suicide <laughs> six months ago, yeah. has developed a theory about two men who are suiciding famous women. Well, that's not exactly how I would put it, no. We need proof, mm -hmm. Jeff. Mm -hmm. Concrete evidence that at least some of this is true. These men don't leave evidence, Kelly. What do you think I'm fucking telling you? You're smarter than this. They're fucking perfect at this. Figure it out. He looks happy. Well, today is a good day. You know what I've been saying for months about this. What? That she didn't kill herself. I don't want to talk Mom, about it. Mom. No. Mom. I was right. And I can prove it. Are you serious? Two men have been killing women. Two things. Bitches, you do whatever you've got to do to catch them. If that means that you can't spend time with Frankie, I will explain it to him, and we're gonna wait for you. This is a defining moment in your life. I'm sorry, I didn't believe you. Thank you, Mom. She loved you so much. Dad! Hey, come here, buddy. Give me a hug. What are you doing here? Are we going to Disneyland today? No, buddy, not today. Did you crash the bad guys already? 
No. But I will. I know you're Batman. <laughs> Go play with your friends, okay? Okay. I love you, buddy. Go ahead. from a woman named Amanda Tyler. She claims a man's been stalking her, watching her from his car for days now. What the fuck does that have to do with me? Amanda Tyler's on the list you gave me. So what, do you work in dispatch now, Captain? I asked to be informed of anything that comes up about the women on your list. So you did tell the commissioner about this? Why would I do that? This is just between you and me. You're there right now, aren't you? Of course I am. Are you staking out all these women? Well, the best I can with a one-man army. Imagine if someone found out you were doing illegal police surveillance. Look, I'm doing this mostly on my free time, okay? Yeah. Tell that to the jury. You gotta leave her be, Jeff. At least for the time being. Yes, ma'am. Elizabeth. Drop the gun. I said drop your gun. Do as he says. You can still save her. Now. Turn around. Don't your fucking knees. You didn't answer my question. 
Who's Elizabeth? My wife. Detective Jeff Anderson, LAPD homicide. Like Elizabeth Anderson. Yeah, the painter. You were so nervous about that one because her husband was a cop? Mm, rightfully so. I remember. There was a young boy, too. So we killed your wife. How'd you know we'd be here? I tried to think like you. Well, you're just a regular Magnum P.I., aren't you, Detective Anderson? Uh, I'm sick of this shit. Wait! So sorry. I shouldn't have doubted you. It's okay. Your hands were tied.
We need to find your son. <laughs> you need to find my son. Mm -hmm. Count me out of it. Family's everything, right, Jeff? Yeah. So what is it with you? Why don't you tell me your story? I want to hear it. the old family tree my father well he was long gone by the time i was born my mother raised me alone i was a difficult little shit i think i resented her for my father not being around but in any case raising me alone turned out to be way too fucking much for her to handle she killed herself when i was nine found her in a bath drowning in her own blood. And right next to her, there was an empty bottle of sleeping pills. And I remember reading the notice again and again, trying to find an explanation for what happened to her. One of my mother's friends reached out to child services and offered to take care of me. It turns out she thought that I had driven my mom crazy. Was crazy enough to take her own life. So she decided that she had to put me back on the right track, which included the beatings and unjust punishments, humiliations. I took things into my own hands. Captain? One morning, I called the police. I was 12 or something. And I told them I found her dead in the bathtub. never felt better in my whole life. Why are you telling me all this? You think that justifies what you did to these women? Huh? To my wife? I'm telling you this because I respect you for being smart enough to get me here. I want you to understand who I am. And two, by tomorrow, I'll be out of here, <laughs> and you'll never hear from me. Wow, is that a fact? You don't think we do what we do without a contingency plan, do you, Detective Anderson? <sighs> Jeff, you need to come with me. Now. Here we go. Where are we going? I told you, your dad wanted me to pick you up. I'm his new partner. So we're going to see dad? Absolutely. Cool. Why did grandma come with us? Well, she had to run some errands. Don't worry. In the meantime, we can have some fun, just the two of us, right? Left. Twenty-one. We don't have a choice. You know how this works. Hey, they have Frankie! You are asking me to release a fucking serial killer. Listen to yourself! Look, what is wrong with you? We will play him. Play him to track him. And what if he gets rid of the bug? What if they kill Frankie anyway? Let's just go in there and get something out of Mark. Because he will be over the fucking moon to help us. 
Where the fuck are they? Uh-oh, what has Adam done now? He took my son. Frankie? God, they grow up so fast. <laughs> Stay with her. Good. I'm good. Mr. Whitver. Mr. Whitver! I am Captain Alderman. I'm the officer in charge here. What, female police captain? Wow. You don't see that every day. Wait a minute. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Now, if I remember correctly, when we got interested in your wife, you were studying for the whole captain thing. So that means she took your job? You better make sure your balls are still attached. Look, if you cooperate with us and help us find a son, we'll convince the DA to take it into account. And uh, they'll knock a couple of hundred years off my prison term? Please, Madam Captain, let me give you the lay of the land. We'll give him back his son in exchange for my immediate release from this shithole. You know perfectly well that's not going to happen. Well, then you're going to have to buy a small wooden box. Jeff! You know that? Jeff. All right, Jeff, what are you going to do? You're going to shoot me right here? That'll be perfect. That'll end well for you. Think for one fucking second. I die, he dies. You understand me? Jeff, put it down. What's going to happen? You're going to get out of here. And I'm going to get my son. Back off, Madam Captain, back off. You two are going to walk me right out of here. You understand? Let's go. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jeff. Move. Jeff. My car is at the crime scene. Madam Captain. You know, I feel for you, Jeff. I took your wife. This woman took your job. You got nothing left. The least I can do is give you back your job. No! Think about your son. Back off. Yeah? Text me to say he's running late. He's always late. Kind of sucks your dad's never there for you, huh? I don't know. My mom was like that. I always hated her for it. My mom died. Yeah, mine too. Kind of seems like we've got a lot in common. I think we're going to be buddies, you and I. jobs for a living. She, on the other hand, was finishing law school. <sighs> Love at first sight. Didn't think it through very much. We married six months after we met. She then got a job at some fancy law firm and started to change from day fucking one. I thought she was going to leave me. 
But she got pregnant. Yeah, right? After Adam was born, we thought that I would put some cement into the cracks of our marriage, but instead it just started some sort of unhealthy competition between her career and our family. So you killed her? I enjoyed every second of it. And that was the start of a very long series. I'd like to think my mother was. Get out, buddy. Just tell me where my son is. How would I know? I want to see him now. Calm down. I'll release him as soon as I find Adam. You have my word. That wasn't the fucking deal. That was exactly the fucking deal. You release me, I release Frankie. Call Adam. Do it now. Jeff, you're not putting this together, see? I'm the one calling the shots here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Did you really think I was gonna let you go? Get at him on the phone. Do it. Now. Dad. Adam, it's me. I'm being uh, detained by our old friend, Detective Anderson. But you stick to the plan. You keep that boy in. Adam, hey! Fuck! Okay. Your rules. What's going on? Your dad called. Unfortunately, he can't make it. Why did you call him dad? Just a little joke that we uh, have between each other. Can I talk to him? No, he's busy. You know how he gets. Can we go back to Grandma's house? I don't like this place. Fuck, take Frankie, your grandma asked me to take care of you until tomorrow, okay? She called you? Why don't you swallow this? Make sure you get a good night's sleep. And then when you wake up tomorrow, I will take you to your father, I promise. Grandma told me never to accept anything from strangers. I'm not a stranger. I'm your dad's partner, remember? Then show me your police badge. I don't have it with me right now. And I don't believe you. This is my gun. You believe me now? Good boy. You're gonna come right away and you're gonna bring my son. You know what? You're getting ahead of yourself. You're a cop. You killed my wife and my partner. You took my son. Do you think I give a fuck? I see you fuck about being a cop? Dad, Dad, what do you want me to do here? No matter how many times you hit me, you're never gonna get us to do anything we don't wanna do. Uh, really? You asked for it. No! <laughs> Dad! Dad! I'm gonna text you an address. You're gonna be here in an hour. Jesus fucking Christ! Jesus fucking Christ! Uh, oh, that looks 
looks like it kind of hurts. Strike you that you and I are a lot alike. I think you're losing blood to the brain. I killed your wife, tore your life apart. You became obsessed and started living by that obsession. And I made you, Jeff. <laughs> Just like the women in my life made me. You're not going to make it out here alive. I want you to know that. We'll see what Adam has to say about that. Aren't you ashamed of what you made him? I'm very proud of him. Never forget, he grew up without a mother. Where's Frankie? You okay, Dad? I'll live. I want to see my son now. You released my father and I released Frankie. It's as simple as that. No! By the way, we became good friends, Frankie and I. We got a lot in common. Don't you think I know what you're doing? I don't buy your bullshit mind games. Get out of here, Adam. Let me tell you what happens next. We part ways. Adam keeps Frankie. You bring me before a jury and you let my lawyer go through all the irregularities of my arrest. I take my chances with the judge and you lose your job. In the meantime, Frankie gets to spend some quality time with Uncle Adam. He'll make an excellent apprentice. He has the best possible background. I'm gonna keep counting and each time I reach three, he loses another limb. One! Two! Three! Wait, 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 wait! You just killed your own son. Change and I got nothing to fucking lose. I guess I miss this dead man. Kill all those women. My father raised me that way. So go ahead, do it. 
do it. Daddy? Do it. Break. 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 Come here. Put you in the car, okay? I just need you to go in the car. Alright? And put your seatbelt on for me, okay? Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Just put that on. Alright? It's okay. I'll be back. Get up. Get up! Fuck over here. Let's go. Let's move. Move. See how you manage with that. Frankie, where are you going? Leave me here! 